Colorado students will be learning a new topic in their sex education classes. Teachers will have to include information about our state's safe haven law. It allows moms to leave newborns at fire stations or hospitals, no questions asked, in the first 72 hours. CBS4 was there as Governor Jared Polis there signed that bill into law today. Karen Morford covering this story for us tonight. And Karen, you not only spoke with a teen supporter, but she's much more than that. She's one of Colorado's first safe haven babies. Karen, the introduction of the safe haven law really gave this young woman uh, the life that she has today. She's hoping that the change in this law will do the same for so many more children. Hallie Burke is your typical 16 year old. She's okay with missing a track practice here and there. And shout out to my Prospect Ridge track team. Good or job. even a test once in a while. I'm okay with that. <laughs> as long as it's for the right cause. And for Burke, talking about Colorado's safe haven law is. When I was two days old, I was abandoned at a fire station by my tummy mummy. I like to call her that. For months, Burke and her family have been in and out of the state capitol sharing their story, testifying in support of a bill that requires schools to include information about the safe haven law as part of sex education. A lot of my friends and students at my school don't even know what the law is. Today, she stood beside Governor Jared Polis as that bill was signed into law. This is really important to allow for the great choice of adoption and to make it easier. Uh, to really help save children's lives and provide a safe way where kids can find a good home. For Burke, the bill helps ensure everyone knows about the law and the second chance that Safe Haven can provide. I don't even know her name, but I thank her every day for giving me life. Now, Hallie says she did have to make up those tests that she missed in order to testify, but watching that bill being signed into law today was worth it. We're live in Denver tonight. Karen Morfitt covering Colorado First.